So I'm going to jump around a little bit with it. But um, one thing that people have to realize is that religion, let me start that over. Words and understanding of words. Uh, words are simply sounds that we scribe meaning to. So with that being said, what we say with our tongue as a collective and as individuals will often manifest themselves with us, whether we know it or not. So my point is, we need to learn how to use words more correctly and more clearly with ourselves. The things that we scribe to ourselves, the energy that we put upon ourselves, the words that we use to uh, acknowledge who we are, are extremely important. I don't think that people uh, get that. I, I listen to the uh, rhetoric of today, and every time you turn around, if we always nigger, fool, and whatever other colloquialisms that that we all use in order to uh, talk to one another, we continue to call each other those things, and then we call ourselves those things, we will always manifest that energy and be that. We have to realize that what we call ourselves isn't what it is. When you speak about I am happy, it is actually untrue. There is, it is impossible to be a state of something. It is, it is impossible to be happy. But what it is, it is possible to experience happiness. A lot of people say, well, why do you want to be so specific on words? Because they matter. Let's take religion, for instance. Uh, religion, if you look it up in a dictionary, religion basically comes down to two things. Religion, number one, is something that you do. Uh, me born all the way back in the 1900s and 80s, you would hear people say, well, I watch this show religiously, or I cook this religiously, or I do this or that religiously. It is something that you do. That's why there is a system put into place on Sundays or certain times of uh, because it is religious, what you do. The second understanding of religion is to tie back one or to tie back to one's own source. Now, I really don't believe there's such thing as false religions because if people uh, can uh, come up with some type of thing to deify, something to worship, a base or something to worship, and they feel that it grants them some type of uh, leeway or acceptance or closer understanding to the higher power, then it is very possible. People say that Jesus Christ uh, was false, that he didn't exist uh, historically. Well, if that is true, trust me, it exists today. It is an energy now because so many people have scribed and spoke upon this type of thing into fruition that now, if it didn't, Jesus does exist. The one of the King James Version, it exists now because people have manifested it another thing about religion a lot of people will go to these uh different gods or deities like jesus or they'll go to muhammad but they'll never get their prayers answered the reason that is, is because that's not your source religion is to tie back to one's own source and then if you understand the dna hoax and just the generalization that they've given all of us people of color over here just to say that we all come from africa is actually not true everyone of color didn't come from africa all of us didn't come from over there a lot of us aren't connected to commit some of us were from africa from the congo but there were other islands there were other parts of of what before became asia there was a part of that land, or, or pan as some people call, that never came from Africa. Very dark-skinned folks spoke a different language, but never came from Africa. So it is a hoax, and it would also be ignorant to think that every single person of color comes from Africa. We all didn't come from there. So my whole point is we have to really look into who we are and really get back into our own source and follow our own guides and our own spirits. And that's the thing that I don't understand, too, about spiritual people. It seems that spiritual people, along with religious people, seem to be always very confused as to what's going on, which I don't understand. If you have a particular spirit that you scribe to, need it be Jesus, or need it be Ogun, or Oshun, or Oya, or um, 
any of the pantheon of deities. If you say that you follow these people, then when you pray to them, seek the answers and understand that these beings and things won't lie to you and that they have your best interest at heart. And if you're going to follow something, truly follow it. Pray for the things that you simply desire. And there's only two rules to really receiving uh, blessings. And that is you must have room for them and you must be very sincere about it. Other than that, you will always get what you want. So, I don't know. Black